All right, this is Honors Algebra 2 pre-calculus. We are doing 6.3 in Algebra 2, which is logarithmic functions. So logarithms, uh, sometimes called logs, are used to find unknown exponents in exponential e equations. So uh, let's start with how to write logarithms and how to read the statement aloud uh, so that you don't sound silly when you're answering the question. So the way we write a logarithm, right, is a log with this subscript that's b. So this is the, called the base, and it is a subscript, right? So it's it's written lower and smaller, so subscript of a. So the way we read this is log base b of a, not log b. Um, notice that this is inside the log, right? So this is inside the log. You can't have an empty logarithm. And this whole thing is actually like written together. So, so you can't, it's not just, uh, it's not log and b separately. Uh, it's log base b, the whole thing, log base b. All right, so and we'll talk about how to rewrite things and how to use different bases later, but that's sort of the premise to get us started. All right, so let's talk exponential form versus logarithmic form. So we can write the same equation or expression, uh, well, let's say equation, uh, in both logarithmic and exponential form. The two forms communicate the same information but look different. So there are two common analogies I can give you for what this is. So one is that I could say October 21st, 1985 which would be 10, 21, 85. Same information, very different look. Perhaps a better explanation of this is to say that I could say 3 p.m. or 1500 hours. It's the same information, but a different look. This second comparison is better, probably, because most of us feel more comfortable with 3 p.m., but not with 1500 hours, unless your family happens to be in the military or in a profession that uses uh, the 24-hour timescale. So similarly, you likely feel pretty comfortable with exponential form, if I tell you 10 to the third is 1,000, you're probably not stressed over it. You're probably thinking, cool, 10 times 10 times 10, I got you, it's 1,000. But if I ask you to think in log form, it's probably a little bit harder. So that's similar to this analogy here, where 3 p.m. is easier for you, but it's not impossible for you to get to 1,500. It just requires a little bit more thinking, and I think you're going to find that with the logarithm stuff. So exponential form, 10 to the third equals 1,000. The log form would be log base 10 of 1,000 equals 3. So the way I usually write this is I, I actually tend to write it in the opposite order. So log base 10 of 1,000 equals 3. I just like the log on, on the left-hand side. But I always draw like a little arrow, kind of like a recycling symbol, right? So, so base to the thing across from here gives you the stuff inside the log. So 10 to the third gives you the 1,000, okay? Um, so the next couple examples, we're just going to practice uh, writing things from exponential form to log form or vice versa, right? Uh, so uh, this basically says the same thing I just showed you, which is, uh, so you can see it with the 10 to the third, but basically this is saying that if you have b to the x equals y, it's the same as saying log base b of y equals x. Again, the logic being b to the x equals y, right? That's how it works. Notice that the base of the exponent, right, base of the exponent is also the base of the logarithm. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and walk through example one. So again, you probably feel more comfortable in exponential form. You probably feel less comfortable in log form, and that's fine. So when I write this, right, remember that the base of the exponential form is the base of the logarithm, log base two, right? So basically, it's two to the thing across uh, the equal sign. So two to the third equals eight. So we're going to write this as log base two of eight equals three. Log base two of eight equals three. Um, again, another way to think about it, I know this sounds kind of silly, but you can see that the exponential form has 2 to the third, like a 2 and then a third up top. Notice how the log form shouldn't. Like, it shouldn't be 2 with a 3 on top of it in the log form if it was a 2 with a 3 on top of it in the exponential form, and that kind of helps a little bit. I think it's a little easier, actually, to reverse back to exponential form. So 3 to the second should give me 9. Well, I know that's true. 3 to the second gives me 9, so that's great. Uh, let's go back to log form, right? Here's my base, right? So log base 5. So remember, it's 5 to the stuff on the other side of the equal sign gives me the stuff in the log, right? So 5 to the negative second gives me a 1 over 25. All right. All right, and then our last one, right? So we're rewriting uh, the log base 4 of 8 equals 3 halves. So we're going to do 4 to the 3 halves equals 8. So 4 to the 3 halves equals 8. And you can check that if you want. That's the same thing as saying the square root of 4 to the 3rd, which is a 2 to the 3rd, which is definitely an 8. So there you have it. All right, go ahead and try a P1. Same concept. So 2 to the 5th is 32. That's definitely true. If you rewrite it, 
you're going to have a log base 2 uh, of 32 equals 5 because again it's 2 to the fifth gives you 32 right so there's your log form here we have 4 to the third gives you 64 which is definitely true right uh, here my base is 36 so we're going to have log base 36 of 6 is 1 half because again 36 to the 1 half is 6 because that's the same as th thing as saying square root of 36. And then here we have 10 to the negative second equals 0 0.01 and that that makes sense right because uh, this would be the same as 1 one hundredth and that is 0 0.01. So there you have it. All right. So your calculator has two logarithm buttons, uh, the log button, L-O-G, which means log base 10. So, so this is called the common log, right? So the common log is log base 10. If you just write L-O-G with no base, you mean log base 10. The natural log, right, which is log base E, and we're going to learn how to deal with that soon. We learned about log base E and, and such in 6.6. Uh, .6. This is called the natural log. So it's the natural log, but we write it as ln. It means log base e, but nobody ever writes it that way. So uh, we're going to learn how to put other logs in your calculator, but for right now, you're only going to know how to put those in. So for instance, if you wanted log base 10 of 8, you're just going to type log 8. You don't need the 10 part because that's what the log button means. The log button means log base 10, okay? So uh, let's use your calculator uh, to go ahead and solve this. So in order to solve, what we're going to do is we're going to take this thing that's in exponential form. See how this is in exponential form? right? And we're going to rewrite it in log form. So this would be the same as saying log base 10 of 85 equals x. Well, this is a thing I can type in my calculator, right? I can type log 85 in my calculator and I can get, so log 85, hit enter, and I get that this is a 1.929 because we're going to go to the thousands place. So 1.929. And there you have it. All right, go ahead and try and, uh, a P2, the same idea, right? So you have a 10 to the X equals one over 109. We're gonna rewrite that. And again, that is a 109, not a log. It just kind of weirdly looks like the word log. Uh, so this is in exponential form, right? We're gonna rewrite this in log form, which is gonna be to say log base 10 of the one over 109 equals X. And so I'm gonna get that my X is approximately, and I'm just gonna type in my calculator, log of one divided by 109, right? So I'm going to press the log button. I don't need the base 10 because that's what the log button in your calculator means, right? So 1 divided by 109 and hit enter. And I'm going to get that that's a negative 2.037. All right.